You'd have to be a fairly committed leftist not to believe that the treatment doled out to Tommy Robinson by the British state uh, in recent weeks uh, has been anything other than utterly disgraceful. But there are means that you can actually put the government on the spot, and one of them is to petition them. And if you get 100,000 signatures on the petition, they are forced uh, to actually debate the content of the petition on the government floor. So I sent them a petition um, last week. It read as follows. We call for a parliamentary select committee re the unlawful treatment of Tommy Robinson. We, the petitioners, believe the recent trial, imprisonment and treatment of Mr Stephen Yaxley Lennon, also known as Tommy Robinson, whilst in HMP only, is in direct contravention of various British laws and the guidelines as laid down by the European Court of Human Rights. The parliamentary select committee should take the following into account. What was the involvement, if any, of Secretary of State for Justice, Mr David Gauck? Why was Mr Lennon subjected to what amounts to a kangaroo court trial over a civil offence? Why was Mr Lennon moved to HMP Onley and who was responsible for this decision? The Governor of HMP Onley, Mr Matthew Tilt, had a duty of care toward Mr Lennon. Did he contravene that duty of care? Well, that's a fairly straightforward uh, set of questions. But this morning I got the following response from uh, the petition committee. Dear Paul Weston, we rejected the petition you created. We call for a parliamentary select committee retreatment of Tommy Robinson. It included confidential, libelous, false or defamatory information or a reference to a case which is active in the UK courts. We can't accept petitions that refer to a case that is active in the UK courts because doing so could interfere with the legal process and prevent justice being done. Do you believe that? I don't believe that. They are acutely embarrassed, or they would be acutely embarrassed if they had to actually debate this on the government floor. So what they're doing is evading it. They're, they're lying. They're making up something that isn't true in order to get out of doing it. No, there was nothing libelous or defamatory in what I said. It was just perfectly straightforward questions. And as far as an ongoing court case is concerned, I wasn't talking at all in that petition about contempt of court. I referred to a kangaroo court trial, which is what it was, but that's nothing to do with an ongoing case. The ongoing case is about contempt of court. So they're lying, basically. They're lying. They are removing our only really democratic way of, of of putting them on the spot and they don't like it so they're behaving in a quasi totalitarian manner honestly the, these these people are just well words are, words are, are simply not good enough for them um, but I after the Tommy Robinson case coming up on the 4th of September I will submit another petition talking specifically about how and why he was treated the way he was in HMP only and um, I'll keep you updated on that. Honestly, I tell you, these people, 